Okay, so how do I make a shop button, or any type of button for that matter, in Roblox Studio? Well, first thing, you need something essential, and that is a screen UI. Now, how you can do this is go to Start UI, press this button right here. Uh, well, actually, it's the first one, so yeah, press this, insert it in here. Uh, then inside the screen UI, you insert another thingy, which is, well, first you wanna do a button. Now, you can, you can do a text button, or you can just do an image button. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can do text button, all right? Chain, let's change our first, actually first before we do this, we let's align this correctly. Let's align this. So position is 0 0.5, no, 0, 0, 0 0.5. You can align it wherever you want, but uh, I think this is good. So it's in the middle of the screen and at the side, let's make this smaller. And actually for the size, make this, don't make this offset, make this scaled so it's proportional to whatever screen you are or whatever screen you have. So it could be a, you know, it could be a big screen, could be a small screen. Uh, let's do 0 0.15, 0 0.1. Okay, good enough. Uh, I don't really care about that. Uh, customize it. Uh, this quick thingy, quick thingy, majingy. All right. Uh, border color. Let's change the border size pixel. Oops, nope. Uh, boom. Oh, hold a second. No, that's that's not. Border color. Change the border color to like a red doesn't matter and then the text the text you want to change this to whatever you want uh, let's name this shop for now let's make a shop here let's have a good let's have a good uh, let's have a good uh, yeah good font very nice font. all right all right so now we have the button uh, now you need the frame which is the shop itself, for example. Let's insert a frame right here. This will be our shop. Let's change the position to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. You also want to change the anchor point to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And by the way, this scale for the position is scaled. So it's 0 0.5, 0, 0 0.5, 0, and same with the size. Uh, don't have this offset, because offset is not good. Or, I mean, it's pretty much unnecessary. Uh, I don't really find a use in that. Uh, we also want this zero five. Let's keep this simple, okay? Uh, and then we'll make this same color. Uh, I don't know if this is good. Whatever, probably not the same color. Border size pixel. Let's make this six or something, and then we'll do like something like this, okay? And inside the frame, let's make like a title. So we insert a text label, and let's make it. Uh, the size let's make it one so it covers the whole thing one zero uh zero point one i guess zero point one five maybe that's good enough uh the background transparency let's do a half transparent background transparency uh all right so let's make this dark red and let's also change the, uh change the text make it a good font because it's a handsome font right here uh, and make this text scaled no uh, text scaled change this to white because white is better than black and uh, yeah I think this is good yeah so how do you make it how do you make the uh, the button work now first of all this frame has a uh, has a property called visible right you can I mean that's self-explanatory so this is what we're gonna be manipulating uh, of course uh, by default this should be this shouldn't be showing so first let's insert a script inside the text button okay a local script of course uh, let's just make some variables just so it's easier so local bun equals script dot parent local uh, local frame equal script dot parent dot parent dot frame and then we're going to make an event which connects to a function fire event basically so button dot mouse button one click so mouse button one click uh, that's what you'd usually use uh, of course there are like you'll see there are different variations of those but uh, you're going to be using mouse button one click connect this to a function Okay, what we're gonna do is frame.visible. 
which is the property that we were talking about, equals not frame dot visible. So when it's clicked, if if the visible is false, it will be true, and if the visible is true, it will be false. So basically, it just works when, uh, whenever. So if you click it, and it's not appearing, it will appear, and if it's already appearing, it will just close it. Uh, this should be very simple, so it should work anyways. That's, that will work just right. Guys, you see? Oops, okay. Yeah, my mouse is uh, really acting sus. Uh, anyways, it's, it works. Okay, yeah, just don't mind this. Don't mind that, please. <laughs> oh my god. Da -da. Okay, now you realize, okay, it works. But how do you make it, maybe it looks, it, lo it looks lame, like, don't you think? It looks, it looks pretty lame. Hold a minute. All right. Uh, don't you think it looks a little lame? Like maybe you want it to move inside the screen, maybe have an animation. So if you want to do that, okay. Okay, hold on. Uh, yeah. Let's make a new variable. It's called visible. And it's by default, it's false. So when it clicks, so when visible. So if visible, oops. So if visible equals false, which it should be by default, because that's. The frame it's is is invisible. Then, else, okay. So if it's visible. If it's false, if it's false. Other else, if it's true. But since it's a bool value, uh, there's no other choice than it to be true. So we don't need to say like if visible equals true. Um, anyways, this is another way of doing it. But um, we want to make an animation for this. So how do we make an animation for the UI? Now, first of all, before you want make a UI. Or oh, an uh, animation UI, which is basically tweening. By the way, it's called tweening. Uh, let's. You want this? Uh, you, as you can see, this is the GUI, right? Now, you want this? You want the start point to be the default position. So let's make this uh, position 0 0.50, 0, uh, negative 0 0.5. So it's outside of the screen, as you can see, it's outside of the screen. So it doesn't really appear. Then when you do the animation, uh, uh, then it will move in, in inside the screen. So basically, if you don't understand what I'm saying, when you do the animate, when you do the uh, tween function, so frame, and how you, how can you make it uh, tween? How can you make it animate? Use the tween uh, tween position uh, uh, function. Use that function for the frame. So colon tween position. And the first, uh, the first parameter, they're gonna be like a lot. They're like, they're gonna be like four parameters for this. So you didn't, you didn't two dot new, which is uh, basically is the position of the of the GUI in the screen. So you didn't two is like two variables, x and y, right? Uh, colon, uh, not colon, brackets, uh, yeah, brackets. And you just put the end position of the animation. So zero. Uh, 0 0.50 0 0.50 0. so this is the position after the animation has ended that's the first parameter second parameter uh, the easing or uh, easing easing direction so enum dot e enum dot easing direction and there's three there's in out and in out you know like in and out and under um so basically uh in is like it starts slow the animation starts slow and it's fast uh, out is the other way around it starts fast and slow and and now it's uh it's a combination of both usually like uh, like out and you don't have to make uh, you don't have to say like enum dot easing direction you can just type in with a uh, like quotations like this um second uh second parameter uh third no second the third parameter uh enum dot easing style and there will be many uh, there is, I mean, there's like elastic. There is bounce. Uh, let's just do elastic because that's a pretty unique one. And again, you don't have to make it. You don't have to enum dot easing style. By the way, you don't have to do this. You can just make this. You can just do quotation marks and e elastic. Elastic like this. And the fourth parameter is hold on. No, that's uh, third parameter. Yeah, the fourth parameter is how much time, so 0 0.5 seconds, and how many times it repeats. I think I might be wrong though, but let's just 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 set this to false. Um, yeah, just set this to false because I don't know, I'm not exactly sure what this does. 
the last parameter. So let's actually make this 0. Point, uh, 0. 0.7. I don't know. Okay. Frame that visible. Okay, before we do that, of course, frame that visible equals true. So the frame is visible. Oops, that's one uh, equals. Else, okay, so that's when we click the button and the button appears on the screen. Now, when we want to click, when we click again, we want it to appear out of the screen. So what we're going to do is, uh, oh, and also change the variable to visible equals true. So that's for this variable equals. Uh, so else, if visible equals true, then visible equals false. Frame between position. Between position. Actually, you can scrap this. All you need to change is the end position. So all you need to change is the end position. All right. So zero point uh, zero point five zero negative zero point five. So it appears uh, outside of the screen, uh, as you can see, and then do weight 0 0.7 and if you want you can do frame dot visible equals false it should work um, yeah let's test this out it's actually pretty simple to be honest it's not there's nothing complicated in that it's very simple like you can do this you'll get used to it honestly so it's gonna be pretty easy see uh, works perfectly fine I think it's pretty handsome uh, and yeah, it's it's very satisfying when you you know tween animations. I mean tween animation, tween UIs. I mean tween tweening UIs is, is pretty satisfying because I don't know I like Elastic too. Elastic is a it's more of a clumsy uh, animation, but yeah. Okay, you click again and then it appears out of the side of the screen. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it. It's pretty simple uh, tutorial. That's like my first one, so yeah, of course it's gonna be simple. But uh, if you want uh, more tutorials, just oh uh, also. Also, what the hell? Uh, sorry, I don't don't look at this. This is uh, cringe. Uh, anyways, if you want more tutorials, tutorials. Yeah, I can't speak today. I can't. I can't speak today. <laughs> I can't speak today. If you want more tutorials, just comment down below what you want next. If it's, I mean, I'm pretty smart, but uh, this is not something too hard, right? Okay. And of course, like, like, and subscribe because otherwise, I won't make any more videos. So if you don't like and subscribe, no more videos for you. Anyways, uh, let's die together. <laughs>